Let us look at another video where I am going to tell you what if a particular partner who has given his own premises on rent for the purpose of use of business of the partnership and if he is paid a rent, how is that to be reflected in the profit and loss appropriation account? So coming back to this particular case, let's just look at what the facts are. X and Y are partners sharing profits and losses equally. Business is being carried from the premises owned by X on an yearly rent of 36,000. X is entitled to a salary of 90,000 per annum. Pardon us for the spelling mistake which is there. And Y is to get a commission of 6% of the net sales which during the year were 50 lakh. Net profit for the year ended 31st March 2016 before providing for the rent was 6 lakh. You are required to draw profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended 31st March 2016. Now the only difference which you have vis-a-vis -vis other cases here is what if the partner gives a premise on rent to a business for which he is charging interest. Should this be something which should be considered a part of distribution of profit, right? Which means it has to go to the appropriation account or is it a something which is a normal charge against the profit? Now this basically has to be considered as a normal charge against the business because if you are running a business, right? In any case you would have hired some premises or the other. And therefore, it has to be considered as a part of profit and loss account and not profit and loss appropriation account. So the balance which is going to get brought forward in the profit and loss appropriation account should ideally be after reduction of this number. So how much is the profit before providing for rent? It is 6 lakh. So if I have to see what is the profit number which should come in. So my net profit was 6 lakh. Right less the rent of 36,000 which was supposed to be paid. So the net profit brought forward here, you, I've showed this as a part of this working, you can actually skip that also here, you can show it by way of a note as well, would be 5,64,000, right? Now let us look at about some of the other adjustments which might need to be applied here. X is entitled to a salary of 90,000. So to partner salary X, 90,000, right? Y is to get a commission of 6% of net sales, which during the year was 50 lakh. Now one point you should note here is that since Y is a partner, if he is given a commission for services, we are taking that to the profit and loss appropriation account. If instead of Y, this were a sales manager, which is what we have seen in one of our earlier videos, that would have been charged against the profit and loss account itself. So 6% of 50 lakh will be how much? It will be 3 lakh, right? And Y is to get a commission of 3 lakh. So there is no salary which Y gets to commission Y 3 lakh, right? Is there any interest on capital? No. And how about the remaining profits? They are sharing the profits and losses equally. So how much is the profit which is left? So I get 5,64,000 here. I get 5,64,000 here. After reducing 3,90,000, what I am going to left with is 1,74,000. Right? Since they are sharing profits and losses equally, what X is going to get is one half, which is 87,000. Y is going to get another one half, which is again 87,000. Considering these two, 1,74,000 will be the distribution of profit. So two things you've learned here. One, if there is a rent which is paid to one of the partners, this is something which in any case we would have paid him or to a third party. It is a charge against the profit and therefore it was not considered as a part of PNL appropriation account. So the net profit we brought here was after reduction of this amount. Second, when you pay a commission to a partner that's considered as appropriation, 
when you do it to a sales manager it is considered as a charge against profit do keep stay tuned we're going to submit many many more videos before your examinations which are due in the next few months if you want to stay updated you can subscribe to our channel by clicking this link in this part of the video and you will automatically get emails or updates from YouTube in terms of whenever we are uploading fresh videos.